In this question, a 65-year-old man, right-handed man, comes to the emergency department because acute onset of slurred speech, so slurred speech, and dysphagia. He also complains of weakness of the left side of the face and body. So weakness of the left side, right side is okay. So weakness of left side of the body and face. He denies headache and double vision. His other medical problems include hypertension, diabetes mellitus. Exam shows reduced vibration and proprioception on the left side of the body. So left side not only has weakness, it has decreased vibration and proprioception. He has dysmetria and dysdiadochokinesia on the left side of the body. He's also ataxic and falls to the left while ambulating. Neurologic exam shows lower facial droop, hemiparesis, and presence of Bravinsky sign, so upper motor neuron damage. Diffusion-weighted MRI of the brain reveals an acute infarction on the brain stem. Which of the following cranial nerves is most likely to arise from this level of the brain stem? From the diagram, we can also see that there is light areas here, here, and here. But what exactly are we looking at? We are looking at, you know, the this is the middle cerebellar peduncle, and areas around the middle cerebellar peduncle. Okay. So we know that from the, this is an MRI, from the MRI, we know that there is middle cerebellar peduncle damage. Okay, now which of the following cranial nerves most likely arise from this level of brain stem? Now, we already know that this patient has slurred speech. We know that this patient is having dysphagia. And we know this patient has facial droop. All those are associated with one cranial nerve, and that is trigeminal. And when trigeminal is matched to this story, is it arising from the middle cerebellar peduncle? Absolutely, it is arising from the middle cerebellar peduncle. So in this case, the answer is going to be D, trigeminal.